Good morning, folks. This was the scene as a fireball lit up the skies over Russia. Multiple cameras caught heavy haze and continuous cloud cover, enhancing the show as particles across the sky lit up, reflecting the light of the space rock. Couple earthquakes of note today. The sun is getting active. We peek in on the ring grazing orbits of Cassini at Saturn, and the weather's getting icy, taking its toll. We're coming now to spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding the last 24 hours on our star are starting to get fun. The coronal hole directly faces Earth, and we've got filaments as well. On the departing limb, the plasma stands tall, lifts, some snaps away, and the departing sunspot shoots streamers. The incoming plasma filament is ripping away this morning. This is actually as close to real time as I could get you. It's happening right now. What we don't have is solar flares. Despite ejecting plasma streamers, the sunspot group is in decay and departing to the right out of sight. The solar wind is beginning to intensify now, but we haven't seen the worst of it. For now, it is relatively calm, and the KP index is calm too. Cosmic energy health alerts are nil. But we expect a major intensification of that stream today or tomorrow as the superfast particles from this coronal hole arrive. It did have time to make another big earthquake yesterday as it faced Earth, 6.5 that struck Indonesia. We also got a 5.9 that struck Trinidad and Tobago, very rare for that part of the world. As for the bigger quake, it will go down as a model miss. The yellow star was the quake and you can see the primary alert zone at the star stopped just outside the quake zone. Thus far in year two, statistics say random luck should make us one or two for ten in terms of magnitude six earthquakes. In fact, the model is seven for ten. All details can be found at QuakeWatch.net. And for the two dozen of you who saw Sumatra on alert in previous days due to the Earth spot that still lingered nearby when the quake happened, I had figured the Earth spot had its two days to do something and was a little sick of waiting, perhaps an opportunity to learn. We're at Saturn now, where Cassini's ring grazing orbits just returned some pretty polar shots of the hexagon. You can learn more about the orbits and the mission itself. Next close pass is only about three days away. Folks, that winter storm is barreling through North America, still two weeks prior to winter's official start in the north. We'll show you the lows in just a moment, along with the rest of the world's pressure and radar forecast. But there's lots of resources for you to see. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We're going to try to get you a new episode of Deeper Look this afternoon. After the weather, we'll have shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.